This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Police here in the capital are actively searching for a male who reportedly sexually assaulted a 14-year-old girl while at her home in eastern New Providence. Police say the incident occurred between Monday, the 2nd of January, and Sunday, the 8th. Anyone with information that can assist police in locating the perpetrator is asked to contact the police at 911-919 or 328-TIPS. That's Crime Stoppers. That's 328-TIPS or 328-477. One man is in police custody today in connection with the home invasion that took place during the early morning hours on January 8th. Commissioner of Police, Clayton Fernanda, providing an update on their investigation. I'm pleased to say at this time, that we have one male individual in custody who was arrested last night. Uh, he is assisting us in locating two others. Uh, during the arrest, we also recovered a .40 loaded pistol at his residence. A vehicle was also towed uh, from that general area believed to have been used in the commission of the offense. So we are pleased uh, where we are at this time with respect to that investigation. The three armed men entered a home in the Marshall Road area, tied up the occupants, and sexually assaulted the female, who is reportedly a law enforcement officer, before fleeing the home with an undisclosed amount of cash. The commissioner also giving an update on the matter regarding the alleged assault on a 14-year-old female earlier this month. With the 14-year-old, the parents, it came to our attention through the parents that the 14-year-old was seeing an adult male, a 19-year-old. Uh, we're seeing this 14-year-old. Uh, we are, she is assisting us in trying to locate these individuals. You know, sometimes these young girls, they will tell you one thing, but uh, will not give us the full truth. Uh, but we are probing our sexual offenses unit uh, in trying to locate this 19-year-old, and we will be able to bring some closure to that matter. Anyone with information, once again, that can assist police in locating the perpetrators, you're asked to contact the police. Again, those numbers, 911-919, or Crime Stoppers at 328-TIPS. That's 328-8477. A male and four females have been airlifted to the capital for further medical assistance after a boat they were on crashed into a rock in the Exumas. Police on Exuma are investigating the accident. Eight people, three males and five females, were reportedly injured as a result shortly before 7 p.m. on Tuesday. Police say they were in the area of Pelican Point, South Staniel Key, when their vessel with twin engines traveling north from Black Point towards Little Leaf Key collided with a rock on the southern point of Staniel Key. The eight injured were taken to the local clinic for medical assistance. Three of them were treated and discharged. Meanwhile, today, Member of Parliament for Exuma, Minister of Tourism, Chester Cooper, gave an update on that boating incident. As a group of uh, employees from Little Pipe Key, Pipe Key uh, on the way to back to work in the evening after dark, and they unfortunately hit a rock. Uh, there were reportedly eight persons on the boat. Five of them were injured uh, to the extent of needing to be transferred to Nassau. They were in fact transferred. They're doing well. There weren't any life-threatening uh, injuries, fortunately. Cooper says that passageway is often used by boaters on Exuma, especially in the evenings. Following this latest incident, the Exuma MP says the government will begin to look into ways to properly illuminate hazards in those waters. He also took the opportunity to point out the need for expanded health care on that island as victims had to be flown to the capital for medical treatment. We're going to look to see what we can do to provide uh, more lighting in some of these uh, potentially dangerous areas. But I think it also highlights the need for more health care. And I'm already speaking for quite some time now with the Minister of Health uh, about the development of new clinics in Black Point and Staniel Key. Those are actively on the drawing board. Uh, but the time has come where we need a doctor resident in the Exuma Keys. We had an accident two weeks before where a tourist uh, broke her foot and we were not able to, to airlift her that evening. First thing the next morning, we had to airlift her. Uh, fortunately, there were uh, visiting doctors on the island. 
were able to assist. But CPM Cooper says due to the growth of population on the Exuma Keys, consultation has been made with the health minister. Exuma Keys are, are growing. Uh, tourism is rampant and getting even better. Uh, the development is happening uh, in an orderly way. Uh, Black Point has significant potential for even more growth. And therefore, we're going to work with our colleagues at the Ministry of Health to ensure that we have uh, the infrastructure and the support necessary to support that growth. Meanwhile, police on Exuma have investigated a fire that took place at a marina, Georgetown Exuma, that leaves two vessels that were moored there with extensive damages. According to police, shortly before 1 p.m. on Tuesday, officers were notified of the fire which caused extensive damage to a 66-feet sports fishing boat and a 55-feet catamaran. At present, police are uncertain of the circumstances surrounding the fire. However, a team of officers from the Fire Services Department here in the capital traveled to Exuma to assist with that investigation. And uh, that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thanks for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.